Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be covering few more important sums on the important topic, simple interest. See students, I have already uploaded few videos on this topic. This topic, simple interest is very very important. There will be a question on this and the students who are really interested in the ranks, they have to understand various approaches or various style or types in which the questions can be asked. In this particular topic, we can twist the question. It is based on formula. So, it is not that difficult at all. Only thing is, as far as the reading part, you have to read the question properly. You have to give justice to each and every word given in that particular question. That wording in which the question is asked is very very important. If you do not understand or misinterpret the question, your answer is bound to be wrong. So here you are supposed to read the question properly, find out what information they have given us and what they have asked. And we are supposed to give them what they have asked. Okay? So, we will start with this and the first question will appear on your screen. In how many years will the interest on principal rupees 20,000 at 7.5% be rupees 4,500? As I told you earlier, the reading has to be done properly. Here, rupees 4,005 is the last part of this question but it is the interest the interest word is in the beginning of the question so you have to read that question properly that 4500 is not principal it is the interest okay so reading part is very very important in how many years means n is not given n we need to find out in how many years will the interest on principal 20,000? Means P is 20,000. Okay. At 7.5% rate is 7.5 means 7.5 or you can write as 7.5 means nothing can be done in the form of mixed fraction. So you have to convert this into Improper fraction 7 into 4 uh, 7 into 2 14 14 plus 1 15 so 15 upon 2 so you can write R as this or R as this we will solve with both the R's this or this the value is same but this is in decimal this is in fraction if you are comfortable doing with decimal you can use this if you are comfortable in fraction, you can use this. Okay. Interest they have given that is 4500. And they have told us to find out N. Let's do it with 7.5 first. What is the formula to find out N? N is I into 100 upon P into R. Right. So let's put the information. I is we will write it down. I is 4500 in 200 upon P is 20,000 into R is 7.5. First, let's cancel the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What is remaining is 45 year, 1 year, 2 year and 7.5 year. Right? So, I am rewriting it upon 2 into 7.5. Now, I don't want this decimal. So, I am shifting this decimal to the right side by one place. So, I am adding 0 here. So, the value of this entire equation doesn't change. Whenever I shift the decimal to the right side, I have to add 0. If I am shifting it by only one place, 1 0. If I am shifting by two places, then two zeros. So, you are only one place. So, one zero. Now, let's do it. I am again rewriting it so that you 
don't get confused. Now it will look like this. Let's do it. 15 3s are 15 5s are right then 5 1s are 5 2s are 10 then this 2 1s are 2 2 1s are 2 so what is remaining 3 1 1 1 so 3 into 1 upon 1 into 1 that is 3 upon 1 means 3 so answer is 3 years now we will do it with the help of this fraction Again we will rewrite the formula for number of years that is N. I is 4500 into 100 upon P is 20,000 into R is 15 upon 2. Now here there is upon and again upon. So when there is upon and upon this extreme down portion or the denominator will go up. So it will look like this 4500 into 100 and this 2 will go up with 100 and only 15 will remain down. Please be careful here. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros I am cancelling from top and bottom. Then 15 ones are 15, 15 threes are 45. 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2. Now what is remaining? 3, 1, 1, 1. So I am rewriting it here. So that is 3 upon 1 means 3 years. Whether we do it with the help of decimal or fraction, our answer won't change. Maths is such a subject, most of the times, I would say most of the times, you have multiple ways of arriving at answer. But every time if you do your calculations correctly, you will get the same answer. Okay? This is example of it. I am using this 7.5 and 15 upon 2. Still I am getting the same answer. Right? Okay. Chalo, aage hai, chalo. Next question will appear on your screen. In how many years? Will the interest on rupees 25,000 at 10% be equal to the principal? In how many years? Means N we need to find out. How many years will the interest on rupees 25,000? Means P is 25,000. Rate is 10. And interest will be equal to principal. Again students here, reading plays a very very important role. You have to understand what they are trying to ask us. Okay? What are they saying? If you read the question properly, believe me your half work is done. Right? So here what are they saying? In how many years will the interest on the rupees 25,000 at 10% be equal to the principal? Means they are saying interest is also equal to principal that is 25,000. If you don't understand this, you won't be able to go ahead. And N, they are telling us to find out. Now our job is very very easy. What is the formula for N? I into 100 upon P into R. Just put the values 25,000. I is how much? 25,000 into 100. Upon R is again, uh, sorry, P is again 25,000. R is 10. Chalo, this 25,000 will go with this 25,000 entirely. And 1 0 will go with this 1 0. What is remaining? Only 10 upon 1. 10 upon 1 means 10. 10 years is the answer. Isn't it very very easy? Only thing is reading the sum properly. Our job is done. Only thing is we have to use the formula. Right? Chalo, aage badte hai. The interest on some principal for 2 years at a certain rate of interest is Rs. 4200. What will be the interest on half the principal for 5 years at the same rate of interest? See students, here interest is given. But principal is not given, the rate is not given. Certain rate, same principal, like that. Nothing 
in numerical form is given. No value of P or R is given. Right? Only thing is interest is given and number of years is given. In these kinds of some students, you have to just use unitary method. Okay? Chalo, dekhte kaise solve karna hai. What have they given you? Interest. Interest is 4200. This is for 2 years. 2 years. Right? Now they are asking, we don't know the principal. Still they are asking, for half the principal for 5 years, what will be the interest? If the rate of interest is same. That also they have not mentioned. What is the rate of interest? Very minimum information is given to you. For 2 years interest is this much on certain principle. If we have the principle with the same rate of interest for 5 years, what will be the interest? Kya karna hai? Unitary method. 2 saal ka diya hai, 1 saal ka nikale How to do that? 4200 divided by 2, that is 2100 for 1 year. Now, how much period they are asking? 5 years. From 1 year, how to find out for 5 years? Multiply by 5. This is for 5 years, isn't it? This option may be there as one of the option. Please don't choose because this is the wrong answer. Why? Again, the reading part plays a vital role. They are asking for the half the principle. Here we are assuming same principle. Kitna hai malum hai. Lekin jo kuch bhi hai, for this entire calculation, we are assuming same principle. So, this 4200 for 2 years, same principle will get 10500 for 5 years. But now they are saying, you have to make that principle half. If we are making the principle half, obviously interest also will be half. If it is 5 years interest, if we half the principle, the interest for 5 years also will be half. So 10,500 divided by 2 we need to do. Half. So 2 ones are 2. 2 fives are 10. Then 2 twos are 4. 5 is a 4 gaya. 8 bacha hai. That 1 and 0 will make 10. Then 2 fives are 10. And please don't forget this 0. 0. So 5 two, five, 0 is the final answer. Because they are making principal half, so we need to make interest also half to arrive at the correct answer. Isn't it interesting? Have I used any formula of simple interest? I is equal to P N R upon 100 or uh, uh, rate is equal to uh, interest into 100 upon P into N. Nothing. I have not used even a single formula. I have just used Unitary method. Isn't it interesting? Sum is from simple interest. But no formula. Even easy. Formula bhi easy hai. Isse bhi easy. Simple unitary method which you have learned in earlier standards. Isn't it? Students, you saw how simple is the simple interest. The name itself suggests simple. Right? Naam hi kafi hai. Simple interest. This topic is very simple. Only thing is, you are supposed to read the question properly, analyze it properly, use the information given to us properly and calculate it properly. Okay? Students, now we will stop here. Again, I will come with the important chapter with important sums. Okay? Students, if you like my videos, then don't forget to share with your friends. And uh, do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done it so far. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? You know. Study well. And very important thing is, correct? Enjoy studying. Bye-bye.